50% of the countries in Europe and 30% of the countries in South Asia have derived from the DNA and language from one singular Proto-Indo-European civilization back in the ancient times. Those people were known as the Amnaya. Through their physical dominance and use of advanced technology, the Amnaya people were able to create one of the most powerful ancient empires the Bronze Age has ever seen. This is a look into the ancient nomads of the Amnaya culture. Considering that the Amnaya's expanded their empire and became one of the most dominant ancient civilizations of the Bronze Age, it is expected that their DNA is just as powerful. Biologist Esk Willerslev and his team conducted a study to set out which ancient cultures were the most responsible for the ancestry of the people living in the modern world. Willerslev and his team sequenced ancient remains from across Eurasia and then compared them to the remains of the Yamnaya to see how widely the Yamnaya's genes have spread. The data was then compared to modern populations in Europe and South Asia. Willerslev's findings conclude that 50% of Europe's and 30% of South Asia's modern population owe their ancestry to the Yamnaya's. New discoveries in DNA sequencing and research has allowed us to see even further than we ever have into the Amnaya culture. Their population was relatively small compared to other societies, but that didn't stop them from being violent and invasive. During this DNA revolution, we also found out that there was a lethal pandemic that was ravaging the entire Yamnaya culture. Our good friend Dr. Willerslev conducted a study by taking teeth from the ancient Yamnaya skeletons and used it to prove the genetics of the plague, dating back to even 3,000 years before there's any written record of it. With this little sickness being identified as the Black Death, we can all agree that the DNA breakthrough was beneficial for finding out the origins of this once great plague and its original host for genetic variation. Lactose tolerance is often dismissed as a modern invention and is never looked upon by ancient civilizations. However, a study revealed that the Bronze Age civilizations from Eurasia were 90% lactose intolerant. Considering that, the Amnayas took usage of horses as well as their milk and meat. The Amnayas were believed to be the first people to adapt into lactose tolerance. Horses played a significant role in the Bronze Age. The Amnayas quickly became the greatest horse culture of the ancient times by 3000 BC. Known that the Amnayas gained this title, becoming the first civilization to take advantage of horseback riding and wagons. The Amnayas used horses to increase their wealth by gaining more sheep and cattle, and the Amnaya were also able to use them as a source of food and material for their weapons and clothing. It is believed that the invention of the wheel occurred before the Yamnayas developed into a civilization. However, the Yamnaya were the first ancient civilization to take advantage of the use of the wheel by creating a wagon. The wagon allowed the Yamnayas to travel to other territories and expand their empire. This public works project later influenced the chariot, which is one of the most powerful military weapons of the ancient times. When it comes to language, unfortunately, the Amnayas did not leave any written records of the language that they used. However, linguists believe that the language of countries within Europe and Asia, such as Ancient Greek, Ancient Roman, French, Spanish, German, and Sanskrit from Russia and India, all derive from a common language source, the Amnaya. Linguists discovered that this language is part of Proto-Indo-European and were able to conduct a study where they gathered certain words and were able to trace its sound pattern and spelling back to different languages and when the word first appeared. Most of the words originated during the time of the Amnaya, especially the wheel and wagon vocabulary. This topic of communication segues perfectly into the Amnaya social classes and governments. The social class of the Yamnaya was broken up into three main classes. The top class was the most dominant of the clan leaders and priest kings. The priest kings were the top of the religious and social hierarchy. Their duties consisted of performing rituals and acting as judges for family disputes. The heads of the clans 
were always male figures who ran their clan or family. So although both the priest kings and the clan leaders were on the top of the social ladder, clan leaders still obeyed their priest kings. Now in the middle class, this consisted of nobilities and warriors, whose duties were to expand the Amnaya Empire by invading other territories. And the bottom, of course, were the commoners and clerics, those whose duties consisted of household tasks, architecture, agriculture, along with running the slaves as well as the women. <laughs>